Hello students. In this video lecture, we will be solving problems on the topic the non-homogeneous equations of order 2. So what is a non-homogeneous equation? If the equation L of y is equal to B of x, then it is known as a non-homogeneous equation. Previously, we learnt about homogeneous equation where L of y was equal to 0. So when the equation is equal to 0, it is a homogeneous equation and when it is equation to a function b of x, then it is a non-homogeneous equation. So let's learn problems on this topic like and how to solve those problems. So now L of y equal to b of x will have a most general solution xi which will be equal to the sum of the solution xi p and the solution phi. This xi p is known as the particular solution plus the solution phi which is, which is the solution obtained from obtained by phi equal to c1 phi1 plus c2 phi2 where phi1 and phi2 are linearly independent solutions of l of y equal to 0. So when we consider this equation to be equal to 0 we obtain two solutions phi1 and phi2 which we have seen in our previous lectures. So the from that we will be obtaining the function phi. And then we will be obtaining the particular solution xi p which is equal to u1 phi1 plus u2 phi2. So what is this u1 and u2? u1 and u2 are given by the derivatives of u1 and u2 are given by u1 dash equal to this and u2 dash is equal to this. That is u1 dash is minus phi2 b divided by the Ronskian of phi1 comma phi2 and u2 dash is given to be equal to phi1 b divided by the Ronskian of phi1 comma phi2 where this Ronskian is evaluated by using the Ronskian formula given by phi1 phi2 dash minus phi1 dash phi2. So we shall solve a problem on this topic now. So now here we have a problem which says that find all solutions of y double dash minus y dash minus 2y equal to e power negative x. Now this is taken as L of y. We can see that L of y is equal to uh, b of x that is where this b of x is equal to e power negative x. So this is a non-homogeneous equation of order 2. So first we should write that. After that, the general, uh, most general solution is given by xi equal to xi p plus phi, where this phi is given by c1 phi1 plus c2 phi2. As the first step, we have to evaluate this phi. So let us uh, evaluate this by equating this equation to 0. That is, uh, this is phi1 and phi2 are solutions of the homogeneous equation L of y equal to 0. So first, we will evaluate those solutions. As a first step, we have to write the characteristic polynomial of this equation and equate it to 0. The characteristic polynomial of this equation is given by r squared minus r minus 2 is equal to 0. Now we shall find the roots of this equation. So minus 2 into 1 is 2, minus 2. So we, will, we have to factorize this now. So this can be obtained by 2, 1 times. And the negative sign will be 4 because we need minus r. The negative sign is for this. And so this will turn out to be r minus 2 multiplied with r plus 1 is equal to 0. So from this we get r plus 1 equal to 0 and r minus 2 equal to 0 and from this we get r equal to minus 1 and the other value for r is equal to 2. So these are the two roots. So we can take this to be r1 is equal to minus 1 and r2 to be equal to 2. So these are the two roots. Now how the solution of this uh, will be? We know that phi 1 of x is given by e power r1 x because they are distinct roots. And phi 2 of x is given by e power r2 x. So these are the two solutions for distinct roots. So next is, so phi 1 of x will be equal to if we substitute r1 at this place we obtain this to be e power minus x so this is phi 1 of x next will be phi 2 of x which will be equal to e power the value of r2 is 2 so e power 2x so this is phi 2 of x and so the solution phi will be equal to we know that it is c1 phi 1 plus c2 phi 2 and so that will be equal to so phi 
will be equal to c1 e power minus x plus c2 e power 2x. So this is a solution of the equation L of y equal to 0. Now we have to find the particular solution. So let us write that here. Now to find the particular solution, we know that the particular solution is given by xi p equal to u1 phi plus u2 phi. Where the derivatives of u1 is given by this, derivatives of u2 is given by this. So uh, first we shall find that. But, to, but to, to evaluate these two, we should first find the Ronsky n. After that we have to substitute here. So let us first evaluate the Ronsky n now. So the particular solution xi p is given by u1 phi1 of x plus u2 phi2 of x. So to evaluate u1 and u2 we need the Ronsky n. So let us evaluate the Ronsky n now. We know that the Ronsky n is given by the formula Ronsky n of phi1 comma phi2 is equal to phi1 phi2 dash minus phi1 dash phi2. Now what is this? This is equal to what is phi 1? So if we check here, we know that phi 1 is e power negative x. So let us substitute that. So phi 1 is e power negative x multiplied with phi 2 dash. What is phi 2 dash? The differentiation of this. If you differentiate this, what do you get? Phi 2 dash of x will be equal to the differentiation for e power 2x is e power 2x and this constant 2 will be multiplied by with it. So we get 2 e power 2x. So that we have to substitute here. So 2 e power 2x minus phi 1 dash. Phi 1 is e power minus x. So what will be the differentiation of this phi 1 dash of x? Uh, this will be equal to minus e power minus x. So using that here we will be having minus e power minus x multiplied with what is phi 2 e power 2x. Let us simplify this now. So we get this to be equal to 2. If you, if you add the powers of this e we get e power 2x minus x is x. So this will become e power x and then my um, this minus into minus will become plus again e power 2x minus x which will be e power x and so this will be equal to 3 e power x therefore the Ronsky and the value of the Ronsky is 3 e power x now we shall evaluate u1 dash and u2 dash separately so now first we shall evaluate u1 or dash of x. So u1 dash of x will be equal to so minus phi2. So what is phi2 here we have obtained? Phi2 is equal to 2x. So I mean e power 2x. So e power 2x multiplied with b. We know that b is equal to already we have written here. So b is equal to e power minus x. So that we will substitute here. So e power minus x. And Ronsky and we have evaluated here. It is 3 e power x. So 3 e power x. So if in the numerator when we add the terms we get it to be minus e power 2x minus x is x divided by 3 e power x. So this e power x and e power x gets cancelled and we obtain u1 dash of x to be equal to minus 1 by 3. And so from this integral u1 dash of x dx will be equal to minus 1 by 3 integral of dx that is integrating on both the sides with respect to x. And so uh, integral of u1 dash will be u1 of x and that will be equal to minus 1 by 3 integral dx is x. And so therefore the value of u1 is equal to minus x by 3. So in a similar manner we have to evaluate u2. So let us see that now. Now here we have u2 to be equal to phi 1b by the Ronsky n. So u2 I mean u2 dash. u2 dash will be equal to what is phi 1 of x? It is e power negative x. So e power negative x. And we know that b is e power negative x divided by the Ronsky n is 3 e power x. So when we simplify this, we get this to be equal to actually e power negative x negative x becomes 
negative 2x. So because minus x minus x is minus 2x divided by 3 e power x. When this e power x goes to the numerator, it will become e power minus 2x and it will become minus x divided by 3. And so this is equal to e power minus 3x divided by 3. And so u2 dash is equal to e power minus 3x divided by 3. So now we have to integrate on both the sides. So integral u2 dash of x dx will be equal to 1 by 3 is a constant integral e power minus 3x dx. So what is the integral of this? This is actually u2 of x. So u2 of x is equal to 1 by 3. What is the integration of this? It is uh, e power minus 3 x divided by minus 3 and so we get this to be equal to minus e power minus 3x divided by 9. So the value of u2 is equal to minus e power minus 3x divided by 9. So therefore the particular solution xi p will be equal to we know that it is this that is u1 phi 1 plus u2 phi 2. So what is u1? u1 is this. So minus x by 3. Phi 1 is e power minus x plus uh, u, uh, u2 phi 2. u2 is minus e power minus 3x by 9 and phi 2 is e power 2x. On simplifying this we get xi p to be equal to minus x by 3 e power minus x and then minus adding the powers we get e power minus 3x plus 2x is minus x divided by 9. So this is our xi p and from this we can obtain the most general solution xi which is given by xi p plus phi. So which, is, which will be equal to we know that xi p is minus x by 3 e power minus x minus e power minus x by 9 and then we know that phi is c1 e power minus x plus c2 e power 2x which we have already evaluated. So that we have to substitute here. So plus c1 e power minus x plus c2 e power 2x. So this is the most general solution. Uh, on simplifying this even more we can uh, see that this is x e power minus x and in these two we can take the constants uh, out that is we will get c1 in these two terms. It will become c1 minus 1 by 9 e power minus x plus c2 e power 2x then minus x e power minus x divided by 3. Now this can be further written as the most general solution xi will be this together we can write as c1 itself because anyway it's going to be a constant again. So c1 e power minus x plus c2 e power 2x minus x by 3 e power minus x. So this is the most general solution of the given non-homogeneous differential equation of order 2. Hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.